so hello and welcome back to my channel guys you're watching the edtech and in this video we're gonna talk about go to excel function and how we're gonna use it in vs code so let's get started so if you don't know about go to excel function let me explain it to you suppose you want to print something on the output screen let's say hello world So you can see here it is printed on the leftmost corner of the screen which is good this is what we wanted but if you want to print hello world here or some another place on the screen then what we're gonna do so there comes go to xy function we're gonna use go to xy function to print it somewhere else in the output screen so let's make our go to xy function but the problem is that the go to xy function is only valid in turbo c++ compiler so if we use it in VS code, let's see what happened. So it is showing that implicit declaration of the function go to xy because in VS code go to xy isn't a predefined function. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to use alternative to the go to xy function which is set console cursor position. And to use this function we're going to need in another library which is called window.h. So let's include it. And it takes two arguments. The first argument is handle type and the second argument is code. So the first argument is handle type. Handle is like a data type which holds the numeric value. Not gonna go further into it. And the second argument is code. It is a structure which holds the coordinate of the output screen x and y. Now the question is how we get the handle of the output screen. So for this we're gonna use another function which is called get standard handle so this function will return the handle now the question is how this function will generate the handle of the output screen so for this we're going to use an identifier which is standard output handle so that's pretty much it that's our go to xy function now let's try to run this code So as you can see it has not printed on the left corner. It is 10 character in the right in x direction and 10 character down in y direction as we assign the value to the x and y. Now let's make it a user defined function so that we can call it again and again in every program. Now let's copy that code in our function and assign the x value to the x coordinate and the y value to the y coordinate now if you uncomment this and run this code it's not going to generate an error you can see it has printed on the exact same location where we want it now let's try to take coordinates from the user as an input So that's how you can print text anywhere on the output screen with the help of go to xy function. I hope you understood this function. This function is very important as we're going to use it in our next project. This is going to be the banking management system 2.0 which is coming very soon on our channel. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.